I can still hear the sound. I can still hear the sound. And of course I went down the mountain then, not up. Uh, um, I, it, I still tingle when I hear a Norton or a Valisette come through it. Bob Armiger has been visiting Cadwell Park for 83 years. When the circuit first opened its gates in 1934, the eight-year-old Bob clung to the fences, watching the action and dreaming of getting behind the wheel like his motorsport heroes. Well, you couldn't see anything but crowd. The banks were full. The sandwiches were awful. Not like it is now. Bob did go on to get behind the wheel of a cart racing in the 1960s. So thanks to Brian Malin of the British Historic Car Club, we reunited Bob with a cart not too dissimilar to the one he would have raced here six decades ago. It was a long time ago, and we thought we were flying. In comparison to what we are today, we were snail press. There were more trees, the sound was phenomenal, but it was exciting. Um, um, bloody good fun. Safety has come a long way since those days, and it was thanks to a famous friend that Bob pioneered the use of helmets in karting. Freddie Frith was a friend of mine, business business friend of mine, and uh, he'd been world champion and he'd lapped the Isle of Man at 90 miles an hour. I allowed my apprentices to use the workshop for make a cart and unbeknown to them, I made myself one. And Fred came to watch us practicing on Waltham Aerodrome and he, he, he thought it absolutely dangerous. I can't use the words, what he said, but he said, it's absolutely, you're crackers. And we, we didn't have helmets on, we were all practicing. And next day he brought me a pudding helmet because he thought karting was more dangerous than riding a bike on Isle of Man. Um, and from then on, when he was, I kept the helmet and it's now in your office. For Bob, the memories of spectating and racing at Cadwell Park are as vivid now as they were in the 1930s. I love motorcycles, I love sound. Um, and, and it's just, I think people think I'm crackers, but I enjoy it and that's all I'm bothered about. I wish I was driving it, not just sat in it. It's phenomenal. I've got in, I'm going to struggle to get out. <laughs> Bob's wish came true. Well, someone had to drive it back to the assembly area, even if the 92-year-old would happily have donned his helmet and taken the buckler cart for a proper spin. Long may the legends of Bob Armiger and people like him inspire future generations of racers. This is Cadwell Park.